What's up, guys? I am the Crush Verse, and we're here with a Johnny. Is here. It's been a, a later what day? It's nine thirty-two p.m. Where we are. As the time of recording this. As of time of recording this, yeah. So it's a little bit later. So if we sound completely stupid, mind that. Today we're talking about crazy stories we've had, or just overall, like if we were gaming, if we were. <laughs> Just in real what, life. Yeah, just like real life, just like stupid ideas. Okay, yes. so let's um, start out with probably the kind of least funniest one because it involves an injury for me. Go. I was swimming in our grandmother's pool one time. No goggles, so I couldn't see the bottom. So I was swimming down, swimming down, swimming down. Oh, this one you're hit your head. No, the mind you, this is a nine foot pool. And. When I finally hit the bottom of it, my nose hit it, and my nose broke. And I'm like, oh, some, my, I feel my face hit something hard, so I'm assuming it's the floor. So, I don't remember that, because we legit like, go home afterwards. I literally had black eyes for like a week afterwards. Anyways, this is one of the, things, one of the funnier stories we've had when we were gaming. Uh, we were playing a couple of days ago, was it? No, and, it was a long time ago. No, it's not a long one. It's like, something. No, sorry, it was me. I was playing SmackDown vs. Raw a couple of days ago. And I was using Chris Benoit. I had my opponent outside of the ring, like, really close to the steel steps. I go for the diving headbutt. And he, his head bounces off the steps. And his legs bounce off the ring apron. I was like, well, he's dead. Speaking of wrestling video games... We were playing WWE 2K17 a long time ago. That's a long time ago. And we were doing a special referee Helmet Cell match. <laughs> God, not this. So, my dad was, our dad was, we ba was Bailey. The referee. The referee. She got kicked out, so the referee had to open the cell, and then Eva We lost Eva Marie out of the cell. It Eva, was the most hilarious thing Eva Marie done. decided to walk out of the cell, so she was... No, I think one of us Irish whipped her out of the cell. Oh yeah, we Irish whipped her outside of the cell. And... Wow. You know, I crave glitches in games, and I think my favorite glitch I've ever done was in No Mercy, where I hit, I think it was a super kick, and my leg just like... and. If you guys have ever seen No Mercy glitches, they're the best thing ever. Your legs and stuff just go flying around the arena. And you know no, what I'm that, talking about! That's called your game's almost broken. Oh uh, no, I think we, we've had that thing for a while though. But it keeps on flying around and flying around and flying around. And then once it finalizes, you're saying you're like. Drug trip? Child friendly, dude. Drug trip isn't a bad thing. Yes, it is. Anyways! <laughs> Next story. Um, a few days ago, we were playing the Overs mode on WWE 2K17. Oh, God, not this. Which one was it? It was an Iron Man death match. Jimmy Havoc versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the United States Champion. Oh, God, not this. There's two funny stories that stem from this. First of all, during the entrances, Shinsuke Nakamura was a cha champion. Yet it said, introducing the challenger... Uh, and when this match is for the United States champion, introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan, and then Shinsuke Nakamura's weight. He is the United States champion, Shinsuke Nakamura, and How, wait, oh, that made us The only way you can be both challenger and champion is if you do that double champion, the title versus title thing. Which yeah. we didn't. Which I think we should do. We should, I think we should implement a hardcore title, to be honest. Anyways, and, second one match. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura was running at steps. He slipped. He slipped and fell face first on the steps. Oh, uh, we were talking about a funny story from earlier. For Rear to Pool. I remember how I was going, when I was, I was with my friend up north one time. It was like fourth grade. And we're doing this little thing, like, we're going like, almost like down, like crouching. Crouching. And we were going, I'm a little leprechaun, walking on water is so easy. I miscalculated where the edge of the wa of this board was. I fell straight off, hit my head, and fell in. And it was like, whoa. My phone. What oh, you got? 
return your email. Anyways, another funny story. I was playing Smack vs. Raw yesterday and trying to complete all the amateur challenge. Because what this one doesn't know, they complete all the amateur challenges in WWE, WWE Smack vs. Raw, you get heat and velocity. I knew that. So we got like 10 and 15 done, by the way. Dude. What? Liza literally just uploaded, yet it's Thursday, first of all, and it's 9.37 at night. It's supposed to be Wednesdays with Liza. Yep. Anyways, we were, I was playing this elimination chamber match, you finished up, I'm Randy Orton, because, you know, Randy, Nor Randy Orton needs speed up to Jiri. Oh, no, it was before I decided to do all that. Oh, no, sorry, it was, I was Orton at the time, and we were doing this elimination chamber match, like, the solid bus. And it pans out to get someone into the chamber. And it goes straight to the top of the arena. So all you see is black. And it slowly, slowly pans down. All you see is the crowd. Then once it gets down there, you finally get to see the rain. It's like, what just happened? Anyways, funny story for you. It's not really that funny, but more like... Are you really dumb, Jason? Um, fifth grade. I just dropped when I was doing Oh, is this really dumb, Jason? Yes. Fifth, fifth grade. Fifth grade, um, we went to Camp Timbers. No, oh, God, not this. Lionel State Camp Timbers in West Branch, Michigan. A person and I were canoeing. And we got stuck on a bunch of rocks. So we had to swim at a shore. And jumping out of the canoe, I cut my foot on a rock, and I had to be on crutches for about a week. No, like a month. No, it was a week. At, no, it was a month. Was it a month? I, I don't remember it being a month. I remember it being a month. Anyways. Funny story again, when we were gaming, this was W2K16. I think this might be the best spot we've ever done. Uh... No, no, it was the same match, the Iron Man match, Shinsuke and Jimmy. Shinsuke jumps off the top rope, and a kind of a kick style, like you see in, 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 a, in a martial arts movie. And he lands right on the table. I don't know how. He just lands straight on the table oh, perfectly. Oh, oh, so in that match, um, Jimmy Havoc went for a diving clothesline, while Shinsuke had a chair. Shinsuke swung the chair <laughs> and hit Jimmy Havoc in the, in the with face the, with the chair, but Jimmy Havoc still connected with the clothesline. Blackout man! Oh, we were playing. This was when 2K14 was relatively new. No, 2K15 was Which relative, one? relatively new. And we had 2K14 because PS3 is better than all the other consoles. Okay, no, PS2 has a beat. No. In terms of, like, quality of games, they don't. In terms of how good games are, they do. But, um... We had due to WWE 2K14, and we were playing Universe Mode on it. We decided to give the Great Kali a winning streak for some reason. Do you remember that? No, I do not. The Great Kali was facing Cesaro... And then he won, and then... Oh, that? Yeah. He kept on facing people, and he won, until eventually he lost. No, he won, actually. No, he never lost. No, he won. He lost. No, he didn't. I remember he um, brain chopped someone off the ladder. Remember that? That was funny. Um, I actually think the favorite streak I've ever done was the big the Lucy streak of Big E in 2K16. <laughs> Okay, let me tell the story of this. Um, so I dropped a big, we do drafts in 2K16 to the 17. 17 was very good. We had very good rosters at that. But 16, I, I, I dropped a big E. Of, I, I dropped a new day and I had big E. I had Xavier and Kobe go on tag titles because that should be the team that's doing it. Dang, I don't know why I got so serious there. Quick up. But we, I had big E and I had him in a rivalry with was it Cesaro or Owens? I don't remember. I think it was Cesaro. And no, it was Owens. It was one of them. It was Cesaro or Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. And what they always beat. Kevin always beat Big E. And it was like, okay, we need to find a way to get Big E. So I had this match. 
at my first pay per view where it was a Hell in a Cell match. A Hell in a Cell match, and Biggie lost. He lost his job with my brand. He loses. He loses his job with brand. He picks him up, and, and he pick, continues the losing streak. And you picked up Heath Slater. No, I didn't pick up Slater. Yes, you did. No, I picked up Axel. No, oh, you picked up a jobber though. So. But you, he, Biggie went to his brand and still lost. <laughs> That's why Biggie is the worst member of the New Year. Anyways, uh, commercial break? Oh, yeah, we have to go to commercial break. That's right. Ten minutes in, we're going commercial. Anyways, get ready. I think we should double clap. Uh, no, <laughs> not for commercials. It's using the commercial, we don't double clap. <laughs> Katana is back. Yep, all you haters tried to slay me, but you hired Heavy Jibby and it didn't work. At this rate, I'm just gonna replace Christian, so. Buy my pet and then slay cream to slay all your haters. Slay and Katana is out. Katana! I want a lie. Beefcake. What's your name? My name is Brendan. Right, you? I'm from Pittsburgh, and I rock this out. Um, are you going to buy my slay cream? You're being from Pittsburgh and everyone's yelling about these penguins and these Steelers. Uh, I might. These people who never will win the champion ever again. <sighs> Peace. Same thing with it. These yet. It had to be done. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, we're back with our story. Why are you looking at my phone? Anyways, we're here back. We're here back with our stories, and you got one? Uh. More like this is when the Cubs won the World Series. Represent. I'm not from oh. Chicago. I, I found the funny thing was you stayed up to like legit midnight. Yeah, no, oh, past midnight. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning or something like that. It was, I'm three, three, it was 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting here trying to sleep. No, it was 3 o'clock in the morning because it was I three. school the day after. I'm sitting here trying to sleep. He's going out of his mind, posting on Instagram and everything. I'm screeching around. You're okay. running around the house the next day of school. Every teacher was like, oh, Jason, did you watch the World Series last night? Oh, did you watch the World Series last night? I'm like, what do you think? I'm like, one of the... <laughs> I'm literally the only Cubs fan in the school. Well, I was... I want to talk about a funny story with... A team. Oh, with uh, like something. We were at a. We were at a Loons game. Great Lakes Loons game. Was it a Loons game? Yes, it was. Which part are we talking about? Yo, um, so. Low. No, it was like a long, long time ago. Not a long, long time ago. A long time ago. Um, we. They hit. Someone hit our home run. Oh, was this the Logan Land Dunes? No. Which one? Someone hit a home run. It flew all the way up to the billboard. Oh, it knocked cracked, out a light. It cracked the whole section of lights. No, it was just one. No, it was a whole section. I know, that was a Tigers game where it knocked out just one. Yeah, and the uh, Tiger game also. The Little Caesars thing on the Little Tigers blew away because it got hit so, much, so many times. It was funny. Now that was replaced by something else. Slay. Slay it, it was. It was replaced with a Slay curve, apparently. Anyways, you want to hear about a funny story? Uh, we were all. I think it was last year. Or was it two years ago? It was. Well, tell me the story. Tell, say the story. We were at a Tigers game, and we were having fun. We were joking around. Oh no, it was last year because it was our dad's father's weekend. And I'm a big fan of Sammy Zayn. So when Jose Iglesias gets on the bat, of course, my, my my first instinct is go, Jose, 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 Jose. Yeah, he started Jose. that chant and it never stops now. Well, actually, people kept it going. It's a sad thing. It, it never stops anymore. If you watch a Tigers game, they still do it. Exactly. Represent. <laughs> but no, I want to go to the next one. Now I should go, go full NXT. Go, no way. Jose, no way. Was Jose. Before? No way, Jose debut. <laughs> no, I haven't done that yet. But wasn't that before he did you? Uh, no, it was, I think it was right as a date. No, it was after he did you. Why didn't you do no way? 
Jose, no way. Jose, no way. Don't dance. That was crazy. Anyways, I'm thirsty. Final stories, you go first. Final stories? You go first. So, I was playing Smackdown vs. Rock 2007 this one time, and if you guys have ever played the career mode and you got all the way to the point where you won the Rumble and everything, you get shot at the world of the title. Stop drinking on my water. So, later on in the story, you go to WrestleMania, you face, team of, you face Undertaker and Kane in a Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania 22. That does not make so, any sense for WrestleMania. Undertaker only wrestled singles matches at WrestleMania. Well, well you had this match, match, and I think it was like five minutes in. <coughs> Taker threw Kane out the cell. I hate Taker with like a, a brain bust, I think it was, through the cell. And Why did Taker throw Kane off the cell? I don't know! The AI is stupid games! But afterwards, I we go back into the cell. I hit him with I think my finish was the time was a what was it was a it was a Osaka Street Cutter. Is he grab him like a reverse suplex, throw him over, and then hit him with a stun. But afterwards, I hit that and I win the match. And I'm sitting here that quickly. It could have ended. <laughs> I'm sitting here just like thinking about this all back in my head, like that quickly. It's just why. <laughs> Wait, so last story. This happened. Let me think of a story. This happened this year at Camp Copenhagen. Which one? I was at diabetes came because I'm a diabetic. The more Type you, 1 diabetic, where's your hand? The more you know. But I was at a camp. At Camp Copenhagen in Fenton. And it was near the end, at the beginning of the week. Uh, and our counselor, Sam and Garrett, were became, becoming more... Close, probably. Less strict. Letting us swear, cause yeah, we're like that. Oh, that was so cringy. I probably should never do that. Don't worry, when you and Kevin D at band camp, you better have the good dad. Um, yeah. So Garrett, went, the count, the good counselor that I've had all three years of band camp, he decided to play um, STFU by Filthy Frank. Right when our program director, Alex, was at the door, and he had to quickly shut it off, and we all, all had to hide in our beds until Alex left. That was, like, cop, robber, bull crap right there. It's cops and robbers. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed. This was a great video of sorts, and once again, before we go, yes, I did. Yes, he did. Why is it double? Just Katana wants to do an intro. You want to do an outro? And an outro. God. Are you ready? Sure. Three, two, one. You start. See you later. First. Nation! And a Johnny is out!